the medieval warm period, medieval climate optimum, or medieval climatic anomaly was a time of warm climate in the North Atlantic region that may also have been related to other climate events around the world during that time, including China and other areas, lasting from about AD 950 to 1250. It was followed by a cooler period in the North Atlantic termed the Little Ice Age. Some refer to the event as the medieval climatic anomaly as this term emphasizes that effects other than temperature were important. Despite substantial uncertainties, especially for the period prior to 1600 for which data are scarce, the warmest period of the last 2000 years prior to the 20th century very likely occurred between 950 and 1100. Proxy records show peak warmth occurred at different times for different regions, indicating that the medieval warm period was not a time of globally uniform change. Temperatures in some regions matched or exceeded recent temperatures in these regions, but globally the medieval warm period was cooler than recent global temperatures. Temperatures were probably between 0.1 a degree Celsius and 0.2 a degree Celsius below the 1961 to 1990 mean and significantly below the level shown by instrumental data after 1980. Possible causes of the medieval warm period include increased solar activity, decreased volcanic activity, and changes to ocean circulation. Initial research the medieval warm period is generally thought to have occurred from about AD 950 to Euro 1250, during the European Middle Ages. In 1965 Hubert Lamb, one of the first paleoclimatologists, published research based on data from botany, historical document research and meteorology combined with records indicating prevailing temperature and rainfall in England around 1200 and around 1600. He proposed that evidence has been accumulating in many fields of investigation pointing to a notably warm climate in many parts of the world, that lasted a few centuries around AD 1000 to Euro 1200, and was followed by a decline of temperature levels till between 1500 and 1700 the coldest phase since the last ice age occurred. The warm period became known as the MWP, and the cold period was called the Little Ice Age. However, this view was questioned by other researchers. The IPCC first assessment report of 1990 discussed the medieval warm period around 1000 AD and the Little Ice Age which ended only in the middle to late 19th century. The IPCC third assessment report from 2001 summarized research at that time, saying a Euro current evidence does not support globally synchronous periods of anomalous cold or warmth over this time frame and the conventional terms of Little Ice Age and Medieval Warm Period appear to have limited utility in describing trends in hemispheric or global mean temperature changes in past centuries. Global temperature records taken from ice cores, tree rings, and lake deposits, have shown that, taken globally, the Earth may have been slightly cooler during the Medieval Warm Period than in the early and mid-20th century. Paleoclimatologists developing region-specific climate reconstructions of past centuries conventionally label their coldest interval as LIA, and their warmest interval as the MWP. Others follow the convention and when a significant climate event is found in the LIA, or MWP time frames, associate their events to the period. Some MWP events are thus wet events or cold events rather than strictly warm events particularly in central Antarctica where climate patterns opposite to the North Atlantic area have been noticed. By world region, evidence exists across the world, often very sparsely, for changes in climatic conditions over time. Some of the warm period events documented below are actually dry periods, or wet periods. Equals globally equals, a 2009 study by Michael Mann al. Examining spatial patterns of surface temperatures shown in multi-proxy reconstructions finds that the MWP shows warmth that matches or exceeds that of the past decade in some regions, but which falls well below recent levels globally. Their reconstruction of MWP pattern is characterized by warmth over large part of North Atlantic, Southern Greenland, the Eurasian Arctic, and parts of North America which appears to substantially exceed that of the late 20th century baseline and is comparable or exceeds that of the past one to two decades in some regions. Certain regions such as Central Eurasia, Northwestern North America, and parts of the South Atlantic, exhibit anomalous coolness. 
equals North Atlantic equals. Lloyd D. Kagwin's 1996 study of radiocarbon dated box core data from marine sediments in the Sargasso Sea found that the sea surface temperature there was approximately 1 degree Celsius cooler approximately 400 years ago and 1700 years ago, and approximately 1 degree Celsius warmer 1000 years ago. Using sediment samples from Puerto Rico, the Gulf Coast and the Atlantic Coast from Florida to New England, Man Al found consistent evidence of a peak in North Atlantic tropical cyclone activity during the medieval warm period followed by a subsequent lull in activity. Through retrieval and isotope analysis of marine cores and examination of mollusk growth patterns from Iceland, Patterson Ale were able to reconstruct a mollusk growth record at a decadal resolution from the Roman warm period through the medieval warm period and into the Little Ice Age. Equals North America equals the 2009 Man Al study found warmth exceeding 1961 Euro 1990 levels in southern Greenland and parts of North America during the medieval climate anomaly with warmth in some regions exceeding temperatures of the 1990 Euro 2010 period. Much of the northern hemisphere showed significant cooling during the Little Ice Age but Labrador and isolated parts of the United States appeared to be approximately as warm as during the 1961 Euro 1990 period. Norse colonization of the Americas has been associated with warmer periods. The Vikings took advantage of ice-free seas to colonize areas in Greenland and other outlying lands of the far north. Around 1000 AD the climate was sufficiently warm for the Vikings to journey to Newfoundland and establish a short-lived European outpost. From around 985 AD Vikings founded the Eastern Settlement and Western Settlement, both near the southern tip of Greenland. In the colony's early stages they kept cattle, sheep, and goats, with around a quarter of their diet from seafood. After the climate became colder and stormier around 1250 their diet steadily shifted towards ocean sources. By around 1300 seal hunting provided over three quarters of their food. By mid-century there was reduced demand for their exports and trade with Europe fell away. The last document from the settlements dates from 1412, and over the following decades the remaining Europeans left in what seems to have been a gradual withdrawal mostly due to economic factors such as increased availability of farms in Scandinavian countries. In Chesapeake Bay, researchers found large temperature excursions during the medieval warm period and the Little Ice Age, possibly related to changes in the strength of North Atlantic Thermoelin circulation. Sediments in Piedmont Marsh of the lower Hudson Valley show a dry medieval warm period from AD 800 to Euro 1300. Prolonged droughts affected many parts of the western United States and especially eastern California and the west of Great Basin. Alaska experienced three time intervals of comparable warmth, AD 1 to Euro 300, 850 to Euro 1200, and post 1800. Knowledge of the North American medieval warm period has been useful in dating occupancy periods of certain Native American habitation sites, especially in arid parts of the western U.S. Review of more recent archaeological research shows that as the search for signs of unusual cultural changes during the MWP has broadened, some of these early patterns have been found to be more complicated and regionally varied than previously thought while others have been further corroborated. Equals other regions equals the climate in equatorial East Africa has alternated between drier than today, and relatively wet. The drier climate took place during the medieval warm period. A sediment core from the eastern Bransfield Basin, Antarctic Peninsula, preserves climatic events in the Little Ice Age and medieval warm period. The core shows a distinctly cold period about AD 1000 to Euro 1100, illustrating that during the warm period there were, regionally, periods of both warmth and cold. Corals in the tropical Pacific Ocean suggest that relatively cool, dry conditions may have persisted early in the millennium, consistent with a La Nia plus or minus a like configuration of the El Nia plus or minus O southern oscillation patterns. Although there is an extreme scarcity of data from Australia evidence from wave-built shingle terraces for a permanently full lake air during the 9th and 10th centuries is consistent with this Lanier plus or minus alike configuration, though of itself inadequate to show how lake levels varied from year to year or what climatic conditions elsewhere in Australia were like. 
The MWP has been noted in Chile in a 1500-year lakebed sediment core, as well as in the eastern cordillera of Ecuador. Adhikari and Kumon, whilst investigating sediments in Lake Nakatsuma in central Japan, finding a warm period from AD 900 to 1200 that corresponded to the medieval warm period and three cool phases, of which two could be related to the Little Ice Age. Another research in northeastern Japan shows that there is one warm humid interval from AD 750 to 1200, and two cold dry intervals from AD 1 to 750 and 1200 to present. GEAL studied temperatures in China during the past 2000 years. They found high uncertainty prior to the 16th century but good consistency over the last 500 years, highlighted by the two cold periods 1620s R Euro 1710s and 1800s R Euro 1860s, and the warming during the 20th century. They also found that the warming during the Tanner Euro 14th centuries in some regions might be comparable in magnitude to the warming of the last few decades of the 20th century which was unprecedented within the past 500 years. A 1979 study from the University of Waikato found that temperatures derived from an 180-160 profile through a stalagmite found in a New Zealand cave suggested the medieval warm period to have occurred between AD 1050 and 1400 and to have been 0.75 degrees Celsius warmer than the current warm period. The MWP has also been evidenced in New Zealand by an 1100-year tree ring record. A reconstruction based on ice cores found the medieval warm period could be distinguished in tropical South America from about 1050 to 1300, followed in the 15th century by the Little Ice Age. Peak temperatures did not rise as high as those from the late 20th century, which were unprecedented in the area during the study period going back around 1600 years. See also Description of the medieval warm period and Little Ice Age in IPCC reports Historical climatology, Holocene climatic optimum, hockey stick graph, paleoclimatology. References. Further reading: Hughes, Malcolm K. Diaz, Henry F. Was there a medieval warm period, and if so, where and when? Climatic change 26, 109 Euro 42 DOI 10.1007/BF0092410. Fagan, Brian. The Little Ice Age, How Climate Made History, 1300 a Euro 1850. Basic Books. ISBN 0-465-02272-3. Fagan, Brian. The Great Warming, Climate Change and the Rise and Fall of Civilizations. Bloomsbury Publishing. Lamb, Hubert. Climate, History, and the Modern World, 2nd Edition. Routledge. Vintha, B. M. Jones, P. D. Briffer, K. R. Clausen, H. B. Anderson, K. K. Dal Jensen, D. Johnson, S. J. Climatic signals in multiple highly resolved stable isotope records from Greenland. Quaternary Science Reviews 29, 522 Euro 38. Bibcode, 2010QS of V. 29522 v doi 10.1016 slash 2009.11.002 Staff members at NOAA Paleoclimatology The Medieval Warm Period A Paleo Perspective On Global Warming NOAA Paleoclimatology External links, historicalclimatology.com, further links and resources Updated 2015, Climate History Network, Network of Historical Climatologists, Updated 2015, The Little Ice Age and Medieval Warm Period at American Geophysical Union.